The next thing I'd like to do is show you how uh, you know we do our end of day reconciliation. So this first thing we'll do, we're just going to go and define, you know, say an inventory item. Um, actually, let's not even do that. The first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to go into a point of sale and we're going to open the register, make some sales, and close it. And I'll show you how easy it is. Okay. So I'm going to go into point of sale. I'm going to put in my point of sale password here, uh, and then I'm going to press enter. And it's asking me for a beginning cash. And so you can count your horror drawer out. Notice how big these numbers are. You can just push it with your finger with our touch screen. Or just enter the total. So right now I'm just going to enter the total and save. So I've got starting out with 200 bucks. All right, so maybe I have a walk-in client that comes in. and Okay, so now that I've got my register open with $200, let's just go ahead and, and sell uh, a few items. Uh, let's sell some of this. Uh, all right, and we'll go ahead and... And that's twenty dollars twenty-five cents. We'll do it and take in. We'll just say it's cash, you know, uh, you know the exact amount. So uh, we just uh, sold that. So say that they're paying cash and they're paying us twenty dollars and twenty-five cents exactly, and there's no change. And boom. Okay. So I've got that. I'm going to finish with no receipt. And then say uh, you know another person comes in and and you sell them something else. And uh, you know maybe they want uh, you know maybe they have two of those instead of one, so I can just push that and change that, and uh, we'll go and take that cash in, and and uh, maybe that's cash too, and maybe they give me you know forty bucks, and so I got to have some change, right? Give them change due. I'll go ahead and finish it and give them their change. So I've got a couple of those things done. So then at the end of the day, I want to do my reconciliation. And so we could have credit card sales, right? We could have checks, all kinds of stuff, tips, everything. And so at the end of the day, I just want to do my reconciliation, okay? So I took in cash in, so I should have total cash in the drawer. So I'll go ahead and count that. What's also pretty cool, too, here is we have a nice little payment summary report that can even go, you know, right to your receipt printer, and it tells you everything right there. And we can run it by summary or by detail, which is kind of nice, and, and because it also prints to a receipt printer, you know, you can just go ahead and attach it to your bank deposit. Let's say we go ahead and, you know, uh, we've got our cash in the door and we're all done, and we can just go ahead and close that till. And that's nice about that, and we printed our, is that now, now we're done. Now we're ready, you know, we've counted our cash, we've got our stuff done, and now if we wanted to do, if we wanted to go see some, you know, sales analysis reports, you know, we could have done this at any time during the day, we can do all kinds of stuff here. We can, you know, print, uh, you know, uh, you know, this sort of stuff here. We've got all these sales done by day of week. We can do, uh, you know, inventory analysis, you know, um, uh, by a monthly report where we can compare, you know, this year to last year, and we can, you know, have that there. And so we've got our totals, you know, just just a whole t whole layer of reporting. You can even do, you know, reports by employees and look at their commission report, you know, for a given employee or all of them, and we can, pre we can preview that. And so we've got that there. Uh, and so we've got so much, you know, stuff uh, that we have access to where we can got, you know, all this information. And, of course, it's collecting the sales tax. It's collecting, you know, all your information for your profit report. And so you can sort your profit for any day or for any date range. Um, you know, just uh, you know, amazing reporting that's in this, and of course, it all dumps out to Excel too for further analysis.